Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we are going to be making a track start to finish. And I'm going to be making a track that is not quite my field, but it's a particular kind of music that I enjoy, and that is UK hardcore. Very fast paced, very happy, very English. Um, and it's just, it's kind of fun to make. So let's hop to it. I'm going to pick a key and I'm going to go A minor with my cheat pad of doom and I'm going to start by typing in hardcore into my search bar here and let's see um let's go to monster sounds and unknown uh let's I want to start with a bass because the bass is basically the thing that drives the track. Okay, let's just start with that one. Let's insert a MIDI track. Drop that guy in there. Uh, turn off snap. Let's get another one in there just for fun. Actually, no, let's just leave that. Okay, so uh, I'm using a sampled bass because I don't have the know-how or the time to make something or find out what keyboard was used to make that sound. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, bring up the BPM to 155 or something. Turn on a click. Okay, so how hardcore works is there is an offbeat, just an offbeat bass. And then it goes down. And then it goes down again. And then you have the choice of going up here or up here. And that's basically it. I'm oversimplifying, but I'm doing this for funsies, not for serious ease. So yeah, let's find do an A for those keeping track on the offbeat. And we'll do that a couple times, and this will be how we go about building our bass progression. So I don't even need to play around with that anymore. So let's go. And I want this to go down to, right, we'll go from A to F. Do that twice. And then we'll go down again in the key of A minor, right down to, and then down to this. For, and for some reason that works, and that is D. And then we have the choice of going up to here or up to here to kind of go back up. Uh, I'm going to give it a play. And then go up here. And uh, holy crap, that's our, our hardcore uh, bass line. Let's give that a listen. I change this later, so it goes. What if it goes? We could do that. I don't know. I want to keep it simple. This is not not looking to make this a release or anything. I just want to play around. Okay, let's get Serum in there. Get serum, and then I want to get spiral, spiral, spire, which is uh, an exceptional synthesizer. These are all things that you can do at home. Go back to library, type in hardcore again. Uh, maybe get a kick so you don't have to listen to that freaking metronome the entire time. 
uh, drum hits. It's a really unfortunate story what happened to Psy. I'm not here to spread it's you know public knowledge, but you know yeah, still a, a good sample pack. Ugh. Anyway, look it up, but don't look it up. I like these kicks. Golly, I, I actually like the first kick a lot. I'm going to be taking a look at that one. Okay. And I don't know if I like that click better. It's more talky. Yeah, and then talky. Yeah, I like that one better. All right. So let's uh, control D that. A puzzle. A formula. Okay. Uh, okay, and that's just a placeholder. Okay, I want... What if they have anything else in here? No, they do not. They have any sort of breaks or anything? Yeah, they do. Cool. Oops, no, no, no. Let's see if this works. Could just be like an intro sort of thing. Right, just gathering ideas. Things are going to be thrown out, put back in. Okay, let's get. Let's get something going on here. I have something that I like here, which is a super saw, which I actually have for sale on my website. Detune that. Actually, go to global, go super. So what it is, is it's the relationship between the bass and this sound right here. I want to make this sound a little bit more cool, actually. Drop in some noise. Oh. Bright white noise. That more interesting delay. Oh. Send the noise to the filter. Is that a bit of a boost? Make this mono. And maybe I have this for some upper harmonics. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, so that bass might have to kick the bucket. Needs to be EQ'd a little bit. Maybe have that layered with something else. Just 
There's typically not a whole lot of low end in these tracks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of break that rule. Oops. I'm gonna layer them bases. I'll add, let's say, yeah, another another serum just for good measure. Why does my spinny wheel keep on occurring? That's kind of weird. Right. That. Simple, simple. I like to order my uh, my tracks in order of uh, uh, frequency and grouping. You'll notice that I do it in a particular way. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that back up there. So here's a tricky part where I figure out something along these lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the root note, go 16th, and just see what I want to do. You'll see, you'll, this is kind of my process. You just kind of do a thing like this. Nope. Yeah. All right. So there's a good relationship between those two because they're the same thing. And then how I describe it, they're going to diverge. Here, I'm just I'm just moving them up. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. And then maybe I'll go back there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Where's that? Copy what I'm doing, I don't care. Maybe that one should be there. This will actually probably be on my uh, Patreon. And uh, yeah, you can support me there. And uh, this project file will be made to people who pledge $10 or more. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to consolidate and then make a copy of this and just 
put it over here for uh, safekeeping, uh, for insurance purposes. And I'm going to actually select sixteenths again, and I'm gonna attempt to fill in the blanks. this out. Yeah, I'll do an, an octave sort of thing. I'll fold it so it avoids confusion. So I need to bring this up to B. B, and then this one up to D, just for uh, consistency. And then uh, follow suit there, bring this one up to C and then B. All right, so I need Okay, so let me just experiment a bit more here. I want to get a get a spire sound here. I'll pick something at random. I'll pick something else at random. Maybe I'll have a, a different thing using the arpeggiator. And the end will be eight. And the mode will be step. Continue. Am 
not even sound a bit better. The whole uh, arpeggiated thing here doesn't really work anymore for me. Maybe that can be like a little sequency thing at the beginning. Not all is lost. No worries. Now let's get rid of that. Consolidate that. That's something I can something I can work with. Leave a little bit of time there. Quantize. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, only quantize the start. What are you doing? I got it. What if So I'm in a pickle and I want to have this guy extend over, which I can do by consolidating, looping, and then bloop, moving that over. Yeah. And wait a minute. Come on. I actually want to do that. Uh, 
in there. There. Oh, I'll figure it out. Let's let's try that again. I want it to wrap around. Which I've never actually really done this before. Might make a cool little thing. I want this to extend over to here. And then I want yeah, the loop region to wrap around. No. No, no, no. That Wrap around, you fuck. There you go. Yes, I figured it out. All right. Cool, and it's consistent somewhat. All righty. Just with loop points. All right. So why I wanted to do that, I wanted to do something weird. Maybe some sort of fastish LFO situation. And I'll do that with uh, oscillator 2 pitch. Something faster. Yeah, so I'll do that. Okay. So let me get this straight. That might be a little bit too fast for us. Slow down. Nope. All right. Good enough. No, actually, I changed my mind. I want it. Not FM, come on, what are you doing? Go here and there, I should. Why is it doing that? Very, very finicky. Okay, I will uh, copy envelope. Paste. Paste. And I'll leave that one. Maybe I'll do like a... What should I do there? This really wants to be processed in such a way that it's not so...
<laughs> that's kind of neat. Or annoying. I don't know. Okay, let's go fab filter. Get a pro R in there. see what's going on. No, go here. Uh, percussions and tops, just for the sake of time. That's a cool little thing. Do that. Let's boost it up. Okay, uh, claps and stuff. That's a cool little uh, delay on the clamp there. Let's show fades. Yeah, I like that one. Oops, I'll go back to there. No. No, we already got stuff like that. We're okay, we're okay. Uh, okay, I want another LFO tool on this one. And then we'll EQ it. Take out a lot of that low end. Really heavy kick. Pan it a bit, just to give it a little bit of space. I want some fun in there. Where are we? Stabs.
this. Stabs. Yeah, we're in A. And I'm gonna take that. Reverse this. No, too fast. Just a movement and variation and all that sort of stuff for fun and science. Oh, maybe a little something here. Something, not using the whole thing. Oh, stop it. Oh, why are you warping? Why are you looping? Stop. So yeah, basically sampling a sample. I like it, yeah. Maybe I should have this on the offbeat, just as like another driving factor. Nope, stop it. Something that'll occur during I don't know. Let's group these. It's in the group anymore. Get out. Okay, let's uh, let's compress this a little bit. It's a little bit uh, crazy. Use a C2, and we'll use a bus. So maybe I should only have this during certain parts here. Okay, let's do a, a, a quick arrangement. We have the DNA of everything here. I'm just consolidating to make er, to make to make sure everything is fine and dandy. And yeah, okay. So this is 
This is basic, this is fun. Not too serious. All right, let's quickly arrange this. Check the links in the description, by the way. Some cool stuff down there. All right. So when I have like a basic, whatever you want to call this, I move it over. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to drag this uh, breakbeat because everything used to start out with a breakbeat back then. It was it wasn't muted, by the way. Kick. Yep, and then maybe I can do something cool here. Like reverse it, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'll give that a different color. And bam! I'll just take these two little bits here. Maybe I can have this at the beginning. Right, and then boom, we'll have uh, this come in. We'll have all the percussion because that's how we roll. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll have this this bass taken out. Actually, I've been working on this for 43 minutes. I haven't actually saved it. Uh... Okay. Uh, delete, because we don't need we don't need garbage. Alright, so I want this to fully kick in, kick out, whatever you want to call it. Maybe not. You know what, I'm going to use a better freaking filter. That is unacceptable. This uh, clap needs a reverb on it.
actually don't freaking like that anymore. But it's a, oops, nope. Ooh, ooh. Uh, maybe though, I don't know. I want this to kind of rise up. And then we'll introduce the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's freaking 2001 again. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, do whatever you want to do. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Comment. If there's like, yeah, what, like, I'm wondering if you've watched this far, what can I get you to say? I'll get you to say Thug Life in the comments. Yeah, let's get that going. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, and then it'll be like just kicking bass in this thing. Slamming, slamming yo. All right, so I need some special ingredients. Just gonna find something. Some yep, over here. Get that, flip it and reverse it. Let's do that. Good. What happens here? Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. You know what? You can never fail adding reverb. Like the kick just kind of gives you a break. And then this guy, maybe. Nope, 
no, no, I don't want that. I just want, I just like, I like breakbeats. And what about this? No, that doesn't sound anything like it. This can maybe be of some use. Your butts. Give it a bit of a tail. Let's uh, dig into something else here. forgot that I had a different bass there. Let's change that. Mm 
All right, yeah. So a little bit of effects go a long way. Uh, you can go uplifter maybe. Nope. Or an A. Just just for fun. I'm not I'm just playing around, guys. Come on. Something you can follow along to. <laughs> Sounds freaking awesome. Risers, maybe. No. Nah. Some tonal, maybe. No. Thing with uh, you know, down lifters is you can reverse them, which is kind of neat. Does that sound familiar? Who knows where that's from? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with Bagaya. Crashes, we need a crash, yo. Let's get that in there. Symbols, crash. For some reason, I like to put my crashes up top. It just, you know, crashes are very closely related to the kick. Yes. Okay. Crashes really like reverb. And some compression. And some EQ.
So let's. Oops. Yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do the thing where you like increase the release time on the uh, amplifier envelope as like a build. Um, you know, I could really, you know, this is just for fun and like an exercise and something that I don't normally do. Um, you know, I'm not digging in and like doing sound design and spending like 40 minutes on a clap or whatever. It's just for funsies. Claps in there. I want that impact in there. And I like a little bit of silence, right? I'll go back in here and I'll bring that filter down, right down. Because, you know, obviously, that obviously, I want to hear it again. Come back in right away. Like we don't mess around where I'm from. And it's gonna come in just freaking relentless. With the uh, filter opening up, please and thank you.
And there you have it. That is a what passes as a hardcore track. Um, it was fun. Um, yeah. You know, you just get a rough idea down and you just go until you finish it. Uh, you know, I'd want to work on the arrangement a bit more, uh, maybe add like a snare kind of thing. But I think this is uh, good enough. I'm going to put this on my Patreon and uh, you can uh, download it and work on it yourself and uh, everything will be included and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, basically that is it. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.